well like she said i think it's you know still the language you know me not being able to speak my father's language in fact even my mother's language now you feel like you don't belong anywhere yeah. when it comes to the language yeah yeah this is actually like my case so I'm, i want to ask is it that Ghanaians born in nigeria is it that they don't teach their kids their language because even my dad right now mm. i have younger ones and when i go to nigeria i'll be like oh speak for them and you'll be like yeah. hey you speak you see meanwhile he's not speaking for yeah, them yeah he's and not starting young and yeah. later they're going to struggle and, and these yes. ones are men and so i think you should call your dad again and let him know that you are struggling in that aspect so he should help your younger ones to speak right so Seko, do you have any other time you have had to be like you don't know where you belong like you, you belong to everywhere <laughs> but you belong to nowhere <laughs> thinking about culture to pass down to your kids my kids especially let's step to the good part now you guys what are those things that happens in your life that you'll be like okay thank god this is happening because i'm a mixed breed so what is that thing that makes you feel like ah thank god do i mean a jana <laughs> ghanian for me i think all right so hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here hi welcome my name is lillian and today i have these two beautiful ninja meet ghanian in the building so you guys have had this beautiful ladies before on the channel but i had no choice but to invite them again because i have very personal questions you guys are not aware yet of the questions I, I want to ask you guys so but first of welcome back to come to my channel can we meet you thank you my name is teko teko sanor madam can we meet you i'm bella love okay so i brought this my beautiful nigerian ghanaian sisters back to the show because i want to ask them some real questions that people have been asking at the comment section your video went um far as a matter of fact more than 44,000 people watch the video the video is still going right now more than 10 people have seen the video and that video is less than, than a month <laughs> More than 10,000 people have seen your video and it is still counting because the video is new. Now, I brought them back to the show, the two of them at the same time because their <coughs> stories are, are quite unique. And um, Bella Love was born in Nigeria, raised in Nigeria, ran to Ghana to come in search of her father's family. Even though her dad still lives in Nigeria, she came to Ghana without telling her dad. Teko as well was born in Nigeria, raised in Nigeria. Both of them moved to Ghana and I want to know what are your challenges? Can we start with you, Teko? For the sake of those that have not seen your previous video, can you tell us a little bit about you, where you're from? So I'm Teko, I'm Ghanaian Nigerian. I am from Somalia. I'm a Krobo. And from Nigeria, I'm from Imo State. I'm an Igbo girl from Nigeria. I'm Bella Love. I'm a Ghana Nigerian. I am from Cape Coast, Abanze precisely. In Nigeria, I'm from Abia State. You are now living in Ghana. How is life? What are the challenges? Are there things that are happening in your life that makes you feel like ah, this wouldn't have been if I'm from Nigeria only or if I'm a Ghanaian fool? For me, I have a lot of challenges, like the aspect of the language speaking. Like at times, if if someone oh, you speak like in Nigeria, where are you from? Oh, I'm mm. a Ghanaian. Ah, eh, you're lying. Mm. Like they always feel, I just cook it up. Yeah. Mm, like I want to claim a tribe or a country. Mm. So. Uh, not knowing the fact that I am actually a Ghanaian and me, I don't like explaining myself, so I will let it go. And when I go to my hometown, mm, mm. the aspect of me not being able to speak and communicate with my grandmother and people is quite... How like You feel it? like you'd have a better relationship yeah. with your grandmother if yeah. you were... Able to speak. I, yeah, right. Yes. Okay. 
So that's uh, these are your challenges, yes. right? So, uh, let's let's hear your own challenges, and we'll get to the good part of being a Nigerian Ghanaian. Well, like she said, I think it's you know still the language you know me not being able to speak my father's language in fact even my mother's language even i mostly uh, speak even me. yeah you don't speak Igbo. even me i don't Seiko, speak you don't speak Igbo mm. at all at all i understand Igbo. i can <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. hmm. i can understand when someone speaks but okay but you don't <clears throat> speak you can i don't speak. speak i don't speak fluently at all Oh, so now you feel like you don't belong anywhere, anywhere, especially when it comes to the language. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in the middle. Ah. Um. I just speak English. <laughs> you know, just English. Why? Well, um. Like, this is actually like my case. So I'm, I want to ask: Is it that the Ghanaians born in Nigeria? Is it that they don't teach their kids their language because? This is even my dad right now. Mm. I have younger ones, and when I go to Nigeria, I'll be like, "Oh, speak for them," and you'll be like, yeah. "Hey, he will speak." You see, meanwhile, he's not speaking for yeah, them. Yeah, he's not starting young, and yeah. later they're going to struggle. And, and these yes. ones are men, and so I think you should call your dad again and let him know that you are struggling in that aspect. So he should help your younger ones to speak. Right? Do you have any other? time you have had to be like you don't know where you belong like you belong to everywhere <laughs> but you belong to nowhere <laughs> <laughs> no i think that's that's mostly and then the culture too like yeah you know just thinking of what culture to pass down to your kids my kids as now let's step to the good part what are those things that happens in your life that you'll be like okay thank god this is happening because i'm a mixed breath that makes you feel like, ah, thank God, do I mean, a Nigerian <laughs> Ghanaian? For me, I think um, my looks, you know, people are like, oh, you're lucky you're half Igbo because, man, I mean, even though they, they tell me mm. the Krobos, the Krobo girls are actually pretty, mm -hmm. but then they're like, oh, you actually got your looks from your mother's your mother? side more, you know. And then another thing is, um, I think I was more privileged in Nigeria, back in Nigeria, okay. than if I were to be back here, you know. Mm. And then privileged in a sense where I'm from both countries, you know, so it's like I get certain preferential treatments sometimes. Which is good. What about you, mm -hmm. Ama? What, what is that time that you have had to be like, ah, God, I thank you. Mm. Uh, when they started this um, Kanaka, <laughs> I thought of, as uh, much of a thing. So, yeah. Like for me, I I didn't even like had interest in it until my friends around me was like, oh. Oh, you can you go to your home and let them do for you mm. these days? I we don't have SIM card and stuff, and I lost the SIM I was having, so I could not be able to get a new SIM unless I have the Ghana card. So I had to go, and I was like, Oh, thank God! And you got it for free, and I got it for free, and that means you can apply for the Ghanaian passport and have it. Yeah, so I think that means if you go to the Canadian embassy to apply, and I go with my green, white, green to apply. <laughs> That means they're going to attend to you first. Is that now? I ever since I posted your video, I had this comment. After watching that video, a few days later, the same person, the same man went on to her own video and left me the same comment. Something like, and the comment says, oh, Lily, please, I had a child with a woman from. A state i'm not going to mention it here and please i really need your help to reconnect with my child he told me the state where the woman is from where the child is do you guys have anything to say on that do you have any advice for him um not too much but you, you know this generation <laughs> You have to be careful with what you say. And I will say, how was their relationship like? And what led to their separation? But it's not looking for, this man is not looking for the woman. I'm not cutting you short. Yes. Because mm -hmm. wherever the child is, the mother mm. is, right? 
Yeah. So you cannot get through the child without getting to the mother. For right. Now. Because maybe he's not even in his state. Mm. And only the mother knows where the child where is. Where the child is. And looking at the whole thing, it's like he hasn't even seen the child. Maybe he cannot even recognize Identified, right? the child. If you see that child, he cannot yes. identify it. And even the child as well cannot recognize that, oh, this is my father. So whatever he has to do right now, he has to get back to the woman. Then he's going to get a child. <laughs> Simon. Hey, beg give them advice. Do you think you should go on ahead and look for the child or you should just move on with life? Well, um, this is like a tricky situation. Okay. Because we don't know what happened. Um, what happened between him and the them, mother you know, him and the mother yeah but it could be anything now a child is involved you know that when kids are involved it's no longer about what happened between the man and the woman do you understand because if it's the man's um, child it is the man's child whether of course whether they marry they don't marry you understand it's his child she mm -hmm. has a right to his yes child. Mm -hmm. but then again we don't know what happened mm -hmm. so we don't know <laughs> You know, if their relationship went so bad mm. to the point where the woman had to run away with the, the son, child. okay, the child, rather. yeah, and we don't know if she's just doing that to spite him. Some women are like that, like, oh, maybe he moved on with his life mm. and she's jealous, so now she's like, mm. oh, okay, let me see how you're going to see your child, you know, something wow. like that. So we don't know what happened between them, so we can't really, I can't mm. really, you can't advise, yeah, give an advice on that, mm -hmm. but. I know for a fact that he has a right to his child as mm. well as she has a right to his child. So he has to. I, I think you're missing, sorry for cutting. Mm. I think you're missing one part. The mm. part where the men ask the women to leave with the child when they are little. <laughs> it still doesn't matter. No. If he, if he finds himself in that situation, that means he himself should bring himself from that situation because some men are like that. Because they will ask the lady maybe mm -hmm. one or two issues, and you ask this lady to live with your child, mm. and you will keep distance for quite a long period of time. Like these men, some of the men, mm. let me put it like mm. that, they they will leave you till they are counting every birthday. Mm, they know like it. they know every birthday, so that the child will be fully she, grown. She, she, the the child, responsibility yes, will be, will be, must off, be reduced. Like, yes, off the shoulder at least a little. Mm. Then they will now call you or start looking for you. So in that kind of situation, I don't know. Okay, so that is it for you guys. From you guys on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to ask about myself <clears throat> now. You guys know that I have a child like you guys, a Ghanaian Nigerian, right? Because her dad was making co-parenting difficult. And because I do not want this thing to happen, what this man is going through, I do not want this to happen in the future. I allowed him access regardless of what happens between us. And then to the extent, I even went to the police to lay a report and um, he was instructed to pay child support and school fees and then all of a sudden he did that for two months and stopped he stopped doing it so what do you guys advise in this situation because there are other people on this table give them advice give me the advice so that others can learn so like me what i would advise you do is you have to go back to the authority and make a second report because if I should say you should leave him, mm. he will also come out one day, maybe 11 years ago. <laughs> later. later, he will come out and say he's looking for a child. Mm -hmm. Maybe some woman, as uh, a Nigerian lady YouTuber, has run away with a child. Mm. I know it's easy to assess you because <laughs> you're yeah, on the internet. Figure. Yeah, so I will, <laughs> I, will, I will rather say you force it on him because he has no choice than to do it. Okay. Maybe if you do it two months, you stop, do it again. Let him keep supporting till you run away. Okay. Then when you run away again, I then go back. What do you have to say to me, Sissy, on this? I would say before involving social welfare again, you should talk things out with <laughs> him. I'm not on talking terms with this person because we yeah. are not supposed to talk. You're not supposed to talk. If we were able to talk, I don't think we'd have gone to the social welfare. You guys are just having like 
your own personal issues yeah now, exactly right? but me but constantly trying to getting his attention to get him to carry out his responsibility is bringing the issues like where the other woman in his life now feels threatened and he didn't like that that she's feeling insecure about you know especially me having to call him on the phone do you understand i don't know if you get it involved the, the um authorities involved social welfare if you can't speak with him because i was trying to say yeah, maybe call you him talk for to dialogue him. No, exactly. I can't. but if you can't do that and mm. he's not willing to take care of his own child and right now he's putting you know probably his girlfriend yeah he has put he her before, yeah. before a child he, mm. you know he made with you mm. then i think you should involve social welfare because i don't know what's what else to do like he has to take up his responsibility because then if you start doing it your, mm. yourself are you ready to change her surname to your name your son your surname you know take care of the child forever take the child mm. away from him you know <laughs> and then <clears throat> when you when you end up doing that when mm. you end up taking the child away from him like you cut all access to her from him and in future he starts to mm -hmm. brand and mm -hmm. you know sell start to act brand. like this man exactly <laughs> now we know mm -hmm. there's evidence backing you know yeah backing whatever it is up that you did okay that i there's tried to do backing, yeah? exactly backing what you chose your decision sorry mm. there's evidence backing your decisions what you chose to do because of his own actions he refused to take care of his child. Now you had to do everything yourself, and you're like, well, if you if you're not invested in my child mm. anymore, then you know, you're as good as not being in her life anymore. From this advice you guys have given to me, I think we shouldn't help the man to look for his child. Yeah, you should just forget about it because maybe this this was the issue. What if this was the issue? I mean, it's like supporting we, bad behavior. We actually don't know we what's don't know. going on, so we yeah. can't. We can't like just make okay, any conclusions. We don't it could be on. a case of a woman running away with the child yeah. because she does not want a foreigner to be the father of How her child. How about we get to find out? Okay. From him, okay. the whole story. Okay. And then we get to find out from her if he can give us access to, you the know, lady. how we can, yeah, how we can reach out to her and all that. And then we get to find out from her. The full story as well and then we we take it up from there all right your response to this has just inspired the question i want to ask you guys now a lot of people see these videos uh because a lot of people are on your table the good thing about you guys is you were able to you have like you especially you had a relationship with your dad right from time before he passed on so coming home was a norm she has a great relationship with her dad mm -hmm. and his family mm -hmm. so but there are other people when they watch all these videos they are looking for their dad they don't even know what to do if they contact you today will you be willing to help to say oh you are from Koroba oh you're from Cape Coast please I heard that my dad is around there can you help me are you guys willing to help be honest yeah how am I even going to help when like i don't even really yeah but what if the if, what if the person the lady or the it's guys the knows the father's name and the community because some people are very smart like you know they take note of like in her case where her dad she was always putting eye on the ground to see if her mom would mistakenly say mm -hmm. anything about her dad and then she would jot it down so there are people like that they know the names they know Maybe the only thing they don't know is the family and where that place is. Yeah. But they know the name of their fathers and the community. In that case... I'm sure other people can help. You know, I can help reach out to other people who can Okay, who can help. help because exactly. you don't want to get involved like that. Because these are family issues, right? Yeah. <laughs> you guys, you can't turn back the hand of time, right? But if you are to make the decision that your mothers, your parents made to have you... Would you do it? To have me like yeah, in like aspect? you you falling in love with a foreigner. I mean, a man from a different country. Then having a child, knowing that this child is not all from my country, and there could be some struggle later for that child in future. There could be some benefits of struggle for that child. Would you do it? When mm. a woman is in love, <clears throat> she doesn't check the country neither. Okay, does. when a woman is in love, yeah. she does not 
check, check the yeah. consequences of our actions, yeah, right? Most women, be it good or bad, yeah. The men are likely to like, oh, mm. you understand, but a woman, when a woman is in love with a man, like, she just want to give him an all, you get, so, so I can be in that situation. situation. So, so love so, conquers yeah. yeah. all. Yeah. Alpha. <laughs> Madam <laughs> Diplomatic. <laughs> yes, I will do the same. Right. Okay, you, you, want, you don't mind giving your child the privilege of becoming from, you know, no, I don't of being mind. a mixed race. I don't mind at all. Ah. I will. Do it <laughs> over and over and over again. Nice. <laughs> okay, so I want to go a bit personal. For you, how did it affect you when your dad passed on to Glory? Because you had a very good relationship with your dad. What was that thing that happened to you immediately your dad was no more? And talking to your Nigerian mom, you know, it's not always the easiest. Damn. So how was life after your dad? What? How did it affect your life? Your dad passing. For me, um, after my father passed on, I felt it immediately, almost immediately, because he was very invested in our schooling, our education. So it's like on visiting days, you mm. know, my father is not there to visit. I was in boarding school. My father is not there to visit. Now my mom. <laughs> who hardly knew anything about whatever it is that was going on in the schools because we were handling those things now she she had to start stepping in and it was mm. you know it was a bit challenging and you, of course i felt it because it was different she didn't really know where to start from mm. now she had to start looking for oh where do you pay your school fees what oh. bank do you have to go to what prince where's the principal's office you know it was stuff like that so yeah, for me, that's what that I was, felt. Yeah. Oh dear, so sorry about that. Thank you. Now, let me ask the two of you. How is how is how are you relating to your father's families in Ghana? How? Yeah, I have a very good relationship with my father's family. No problems at all. And you you trust them? You feel like they don't? If there's anything that they are doing for the other kids, that 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 is supposed to be done for you, mm -hmm. you feel like they will, they will do it? Yeah. They won't, they won't feel like, oh, this one is a Nigerian. If we give her gold, she may take the gold to go and reach her family. No, 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 no. no. Really? No, no. I've actually gotten, you know, really good opportunities from them, like suggestions, mm. you know, where to get land, um, telling me to come, you know, to, come and um, um, request from them telling me to come you know like let you know so they can take us to our hometown so mm. we can reclaim our father's properties and stuff mm -hmm. and then you know just business suggestions here and there from my cousins so oh, yeah. that's so good yeah nice so what about you Ama? how is your I know I know a lot but I want you to say it. like how do you feel in Ghana really like, do you feel like you truly belong here? Hmm? How do you feel at your father's, with your father's family? I, I'm cool with them. Just that. The language the barrier. The language barrier. But we are cool. And I like the fact that anytime I go there, they are always happy. They want to try to speak the English. And everybody will start laughing in the house. <laughs> so, it's just like anytime I'm... In the house, mm. it just everybody will be laughing, everybody will be happy. So I'm cool, and okay. they're always nice people. Wow, see, so you guys don't have any struggle <laughs> now for you, Ama. Because I'm going to still ask you though, like, how did you guys do it without this language? You can't speak language. I asked you in the previous <laughs> video, my, your interview with me, how were you able to convince them at the passport office at the uh, Ghana card office. How were you able to convince them that you're Ghanaian? Because some people are doubting you that you're not. You just want to okay. claim. Mm. You know, I, I didn't do it in Accra. I okay. did it in um, my hometown. And when you want to apply for a Ghana card, you have to bring a guarantor. Oh. There. So my my father's elder sister, the most elder sister, she took me there. She's just like my grandmother because she's very, very old. So she took me there. So 
and they, they was, believe that yeah it wasn't even stressful at all mm. so they just oh, have wow. to do it for me yeah Chai. i did my ghana card back um i think that was shortly before the election okay the election in ghana mm. I'm correct so i did my ghana card and um what i had to do was to bring my father's documents first okay. so i made sure of that to look for my father's documents, my father's death certificate. Oh yeah, you know, death yeah. certificate. Mm. Um, all of his documents, all of his like old documents showing when he moved from Ghana to Nigeria. All of it. In fact, there was just enough evidence that you know he's Ghanaian. And <clears throat> and then one of my father's relatives was with me. And. So that made it easier for me anyway. As when I, once I got there, they just asked me questions. It wasn't difficult, to be honest. It wasn't difficult at all. And then I answered my questions. They went through all of my documents. I also mm. had to show proof um, that my mom is Nigerian. You mm. know, her mm. Mm. passport, her ID, her national ID, and all that. I, I brought all of those things. And then I was able to get it. So okay. after that, I proceeded to getting my passport mm. and then going to get um, registered in the bank. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> to go and start counting money. You want to open your bank account, <laughs> right? <laughs> I yeah, I think I'm okay. But seriously, I want to ask um, you guys for your last final word to people that um, I have met quite a number of persons on YouTube here. Some of them are Americans, some from other countries, and their dads are Ghanaians. And there's this dragging of feet. Should I go? Should I not? Uh, do you guys think they should come reunite with their families? Is it worth it? Yeah, a hundred percent worth it. Okay. So, what do you think? Is it worth it? They should come. Yeah. So they sh they don't necessarily have to wait for, for their mother's approval. <laughs> should they run away and come? No. Mothers will swear for me. I feel like <laughs> I mean, you have to tell your mother, your mother yeah. if necessary. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm wondering who is giving that advice. Yeah, I said you have to tell your mother if oh, necessary. Okay. You hear the necessary <laughs> because some mothers will be like, like the ebotic mothers. <laughs> Stop it. Don't try, man. They'll be like, they'll mm -hmm. be like my mom. She'll be like, <laughs> You will not go anywhere, eh? Don't I will fire your father there. You want to, after all, I am going to bring all the, all the school fees, all the money I have I'll paid, spend everything on you. I spent on she you. She made it look like you like, going to your daddy's, is, you being taken yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, so, so no. in that case, mm. you can run away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if, if your situation is like that, you can run away, otherwise yeah. be calm. You, mm. run away. you don't I have to hurt to any of your parents yeah, for the other. Mom, because because sometimes people go to meet their parents i mean fathers or mothers that abandons them or are not with them at the beginning out of curiosity yeah you're just how feeling hey, like. how is the life the other side yeah. sometimes when you go to the other side of life it's not even as green as where you are yeah so if you must go to the other side because you think it's green or you have a lot of unanswered questions in your head i think you shouldn't hurt the other grand you are standing now don't hurt any of your parents the one that was there for you make peace with that place go in search of whoever you want that the order of your parents you want to search for and if you want to unite it's sweeter that way than for you to just run away you know no if necessary mm. run away <laughs> the other person will be all right mm. and when if it's a father <laughs> mm. you have to think twice but if it's your mother Mothers, they are really soft of heart. They can forgive you easily. Okay. You get. Mm. So, like my case, mm. and I'll say, run away if your mom <laughs> don't want you. What Running away don't mean that you are going to come to Ghana and you won't call her. Or you a lot of people are not her. happy with you. A lot of women, I don't they, care. they are angry. My that, mom, she's that why right, with right, you. right about now, she's benefiting. Right. Oh, my dad, like... Like people think I love my dad more mom. than my mom, mm -hmm. but my money goes to my mom than mom. my dad. dad. So you see, so mm. I don't care what people you are saying, saying. Right? I just want people to just do the right thing. You understand? If it's the right thing you have to do, if it's what you have to do, mm. do it because you don't even know. Like 
you know as we are born in different mm, different families uh, yeah there are a lot of things that your destiny and my destiny is quite different so you don't know so maybe it's your, your father's destiny, country that will yeah that will you or your mother's you country you don't know like for so me don't, my own don't my play. own case uh huh so like uh, if I like that like, like you guys now if you want to travel it's easy if you have the money oh applying for a passport applying for a visa to any country in the world is easy they the the only issue you will have is if you don't have the resources yeah but for me right now even if i have a lot of money and i go there with my giant my South giant Africa. giant uh, palette uh, <laughs> you people should console me someone a nigerian you guys are nigerian you know because you were born there yeah in nigeria and i want to get you guys into full dose of trouble in this video <laughs> so a nigerian guy who is a youtuber talented youtuber i had to pay for a country uh, had to pay for a passport at um one of the countries in the caribbean island he paid for that uh, passport because apart from the fact that um he's been he's been denied entrance into some countries because he's nigerian there are a lot of benefits he stand to benefit by getting that passport right but now he did it not because of the benefit he stand to get he did it because of constant rejection by other countries as a nigerian yeah so now he paid the total sum of 150,000 us dollars to acquire a passport from an island in the Caribbean. Now, what do you guys have to say about this? Does it, is it, to you, does it, does it sound like, <laughs> is it worrisome to you as someone that grew up in Nigeria and you know that Nigerians are amazing? Does it bother you? No, it doesn't. Whatever floats you. Do what boat. works for you. Right? Are you guys serious? Damn. Mm, yeah. I thought you guys are going to say, oh, with a lament. Well, I don't blame you guys. You guys have a choice. You have a choice. Yeah, you exactly. have a Ghanaian passport. Now, why would I know they talk <laughs> with that? <laughs> and me, I am not happy. Oh, oh yeah, safe Nigeria. All right, guys. So thank you so much for coming on the show. You're welcome. Do you welcome. guys have YouTube channels? Yes, please. Take Functioning. Yeah, Emma, you, have you been able to upload your video? You went to your village and I know yeah, you have a video. I'm, Is I'm, it up already? No, no, no. I'm still trying to upload it. It will be up very soon. I would like people to see your life yeah, in your village. Oh, I myself want to see it because I feel like... I don't know why I always feel like... Maybe... Maybe they'll be saying some things about you that if you hear you feel bad but see the way you enjoy your life going there you go freely i would like to see the video so please i'm going to link the uh, channels both of them in the description box of this video please you guys to subscribe to their channel okay i want to bring them on youtube i want them to join me here all right thank you so much for watching this video i will see you guys in another one bye everybody say bye and then sit down <laughs> <laughs>